Jackson State University football player makes history as the first in the university's history to be named a finalist for a prestigious Rhodes Scholarship. He tells 12 News' Candace Coleman what got him to this point in this week's school schools. A day in the life of 21 year old Jordan Jefferson is almost non stop. You'll catch him in several circles. He's the SGA president in the Honors College, is a McNair scholar, plays receiver on the football team, and is a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Wake up around 6 37 because I have breakfast check for football. Well, I go to class, come to the SGA office, do some SGA stuff, go back to class, have lunch. Then I have football practice. After football practice, go get dinner. I try to do something for myself about 30 minutes to an hour or so, like play spades, talk to people. Mm -hmm. Then I do my homework, take care of something I might apply for application, might be studying for the LSAT, and I stay up to about maybe 1 or 2 in the morning and then start over again. With discipline like that, it's no surprise that Jefferson would go after the distinguished Rhodes Scholarship. Um, who influenced me to apply for a scholarship is uh, Myron Rowley. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a Florida State football player. My mom told me, I saw him on ESP when I was in third grade. Mm -hmm. And they were like, hey, you won the Rose College? I was like, my mom was like, oh, that's awesome. You can do something like that. I was in third grade. I was like, yeah, I don't even know what that is. Okay. The International Rose Scholarship is the oldest and most competitive fellowship in the world. Each year, only 32 students earn the scholar title, and very few come from HBCUs. Jefferson made history just by being named a finalist, the first for JSU. I have a great team of people that work with me, and I have people that believe in what I want to do. The Jackson native and Callaway High School graduate is a political science major with aspirations. Of law school. He's the son of a former Jackson State football coach and a professional dancer. He has performed at Carnegie Hall and he studied abroad in South Africa. So, all these things in my life have really intertwined with my household and really developed me to who I am and what I want to be and what I want to do for the city and people because I've had these awesome experiences. But I don't feel like I'm fulfilling my purpose if I don't give these awesome experiences and opportunities to people like me who don't have the same opportunities. His message to Metro students with high ambitions. Hope is uh, stronger than fear, so mm -hmm. believe in yourself, guide yourself to what you want to do, and it may happen. Candace Coleman, 12 News. Oh, thank you, candidates, and thank you, Jordan. Now, Jordan tweeted this weekend that he wasn't chosen as a Rhodes Scholar, but he was happy to represent his university on the highest of levels.